Tradition, 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B. Today's readings emphasize tradition. Tradition literally means to hand over, from Latin trans, meaning over, and dare, meaning to give. We receive tradition, live tradition, and then hand the received tradition to the next generation. In the first reading from Deuteronomy, Moses commands the Israelites to be faithful to what he has given to them and which he received from God on Mount Sinai. On Mount Sinai, God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. In instructing the Israelites to be faithful to the Ten Commandments, Moses forbids the adding or taking away even a word from the Ten Commandments. In other words, Moses forbids the Israelites from changing a God-given tradition by substituting in its place a human creation that is later handed down and received as a tradition. In the Gospel passage, echoing Moses, Jesus condemns the practice of changing a God-given tradition. This does not mean, though, that Jesus is anti-tradition. Jesus is pro-tradition, when tradition is rightly understood. The most essential tradition or handing down is Jesus coming down on earth and giving himself to us in the Incarnation by being born as a little baby. We may even locate tradition in the Trinity prior to the Incarnation, for the three persons of the Trinity are eternally given, giving and receiving one another. The Father gives himself perfectly to the Son, and the Son likewise gives himself perfectly to the Father. And the mutual eternal gift between the two divine persons is the Holy Spirit, the third divine person. With respect to God-given traditions, such as the Ten Commandments that God gave to Moses and has been handed down up to our own generation, Jesus commands us to stand firm and hold on to these divine traditions, as the Second Thessalonians 2.15 states. Jesus also respected human traditions, provided that they do not contradict or diminish the importance of divinely given traditions. For example, as Brant Petrie points out, even though the Old Testament does not command the Israelites to celebrate the Passover meal with wine, the Jewish people nonetheless celebrated the meal with wine. And so did Jesus when he transformed the Passover meal into the first Eucharistic celebration. However, Jesus explicitly condemns a human tradition that becomes more important than a divine tradition and contradicts a divine tradition. An example of this was the practice called Korban by some Pharisees to dedicate property to the Gener Jerusalem temple and then claim they did not have adequate resources to care for their parents. In the Mass, we are, we are celebrating, we are not participating in a mere human tradition. Rather, we are participating in a divine tradition established by Jesus. In the divinely established tradition of the Most Holy Eucharist, of the Holy Mass, God gives us Jesus who will be offered to us, who will be literally handed down to us, and we are called to pass down this sacred tradition to the next generation. God bless.